Okindoki. Okay, so we want to do a demonstration of the power network. So I have the glorious HMS Death Star Galactica, or rather a copy of it, because HMS Death Star Galactica is still in orbit. Um, so we activate the transmitter, and you see it starts transmitting power up into the air. Um, if we very quickly jump up to here. Oh, why am I moving? Oh, of course, because that stupid thing. Not the best, most secure uh, system. We trans up here. We have one of these, and he is in relay mode. So he's transmitting power that comes to him and sending it back down again, or wherever he should be. Uh, let's point him back to KSP. I don't think the angle actually matters. It certainly doesn't on the satellites. So. Let us. Oh, no, it's not what you do. Switch to him. Switch to this little guy and see if we can receive power. So we're transmitting the power from HMS Death Star all the way up into orbit. And then all the way back down to this little guy, which is literally just a receiver. And that's about it. <laughs> so if I stop, you see the power goes down. And then if I activate the receiver, it shoots back up again, which is awesome. So the power is going from the launch bay up into space and then all the way back down again just to power this probe core because that's pretty much all that's going on here with this probe core. Yeah, but that's pretty awesome though because you can use that to power anything on here. So if I build something a slightly more interesting like this where the change the receiver to something like this where it's rece now receiving six milliwatt megawatts six thousand megawatts so chances are that thing over there is uh moved or something or ever I'm not really sure either which way this thing should be just be able to go like forever basically in fact it looks like we're actually generating too much heat from the receiver so it actually put need to put more on here but if I deactivate this for a second. Do -do -do. And then reactivate it. The electrical power just went shot back up again. So this can pretty much go well until the satellite gets out of range. But if I set the satellites up for relays, in theory this can just keep going because the satellites are beaming the power down to me. And that engine, that nuclear power engine over there, we know that goes for like a year or so of space travel. So you could just drive around the planet using power received from the skies. If only this worked in real life, it would be freaking amazing. Fortunately, the atmosphere gets in the way in the real life. But it's still cool. Right, anyway, that's not what I was supposed to be doing, but I got distracted by cool things. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this doesn't explode. I tried to do this before and uh, I got all the way there and realised I hadn't put a separator in. So that was dumb. So let us throttle up and launch. Well, it didn't explode, so that's always a good start. Better turn the heat down a little bit. It's getting hot in here. So turn down your engines before they explode, you dumbass. Okay, so that gets up to three. Break. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, and the rest of this should be more than sufficient to get us to the moon. Or the moon. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to land this side. I want to land ideally where this line goes through, somewhere around there. So we'll get down to there. A little bit more, a little bit more. Cool. Well, that's probably too much, but we'll find out. Um, let's get back around there and see what happens. Obviously, I'm going to save. Inclination is a bit off. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Going to lock the suspension. Lock. Okie dokie. 
as mentioned, locked. Coming down. Sit. Move, shit. Fuck off. It's a big thing. Five thousand. Where's the shadow? Shadow. Where's the shadow? Whoa, shit. Wasn't paying attention. Damn, that was bad. I wasted fuel doing that. Hopefully I can get away with it. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh. Got away with it! Oh my god! That was lucky. I have built something magnificent. This is our refinery slash moon base production facility. Um, I don't want that one. So we have obviously a refinery buried down the bottom of it, which will be powered using the uh, nuclear power station through microwave power. And then surrounding it, we have water on the top so it can make um, fuel for us. You can't mine fuel on the moon, or at least you don't seem to be able to. So we'll just have to just send more fuel up when we want, uh, more water up when we want to. Um, that's what these recycling things are for, for refilling. Um, and also on the side here, we have loads of rocket parts. We've got tons of rocket parts, probably too many. Um, might have to cut the weight down <laughs> and send some stuff up to build them up. but. We've got everything that we need to build stuff on the moon. Now we just have to get it there and land it safely. So this should be interesting, to say the least. Let's give it a go and see what happens. First question is, does it take off? Three, two, one. Yes. It does take off. Just about. This could be interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Hmm. So I had to empty these fuel tanks, so there's no actual fuel in those fuel tanks. I might have to empty the metal, the um, rocket parts, or at least bring them down to something lighter. Because it's barely moving. Okie dokie, we managed to get capture. Sweet, now we just gotta get the fuck over there. Let's go. And we lose signal, of course, because we got outside of range. But we should get it back as we come into the moon come on there you go oh, awesome and look at that we got right in there now get into an orbit does involve turning around that could be interesting I love that it looks so cool and when it changes them, um, changing between all those different satellites and stuff. Yeah, this is going to take a, turn, a while to turn around, isn't it? <laughs> like a bus. I think. I think at this point it's probably a good idea to decouple. <clears throat> yeah. Means we can actually turn the damn thing. Put the gear down. Hopefully that's sufficient for our landing. Gonna have to watch the old fuel. Look at that for a landing. Not bad, even if I do say so myself. Right, let's apply some brakes. Ah, 
came a little bit further from it than maybe I would like. got away with that of a trucker okay I don't know if I can actually oh I can receive power how huh well we've got power we've got mega jewels we have power deploy the waste heat thingies Cool. Um, can I? Right, we need water, so I need to take some water out of here first. So the first time I do this, I have to actually tell it, and then after that, it should just siphon to fill this tank up. Um, Cool. And then in here we go electrolyze water. There we go. I am generating fuel. And it's working. Sweet. Takes fucking ages. And then we can just like once we fill this up, we can just transfer fuel um into these ones. So they'll empty that tank and then we can just fill this tank up. Send more water. One is a miracles and we have enough rocket parts. Yeah, we're good for rocket parts. We're good for everything. Success! So I'm going to save some stuff up and then build something and fly it. Sweet! That went really well. I'm mildly surprised. Okay, so <clears throat> this is our test craft that we can build. There he is. Not the uh, most complicated of test craft, admittedly. And then we can just go fire and he's off <laughs> yeehaw <laughs> fire we can launch missiles and we can make our own missiles and it's all snazzy okay Okay, stop spinning. Stop spinning! Awesome. Well, this is awesome. And I am going to explore further with this in the next episode. So, my name is Ben Vio. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do give it a like. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time.